Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a closer look at the elusive GA2100 series. Except this is a fake one. Let's get rolling. If you are familiar with G-Shock, you can probably catch the fake one quite easily because it isn't a very high grade copy. But since the launch of this particular model, is it has attracted many new first time buyers of G-Shock and the scammers are out there to get to these guys. So in today's video, we are going to have a closer look on how to identify the fake and uh, how to safeguard yourself to ensure you don't get scammed so throughout this video the original watch will be on the left hand side of the screen and the fake one will be on the right hand side of the screen since most of you will be purchasing this watch via online platform i'll first focus on the most obvious differences so that it can help you avoid the fake one so the very first one is the lower right hand side LCD display on the watch. For the fake one, you'll be able to see there's three rows of information versus the original one, just two rows of information. The fake one has the day, the second and also the hour. Uh, for the original one, you can see the date and the seconds and that's pretty much it. Even in terms of the display itself, you will be able to see the original one is much more clearer, easier to read. Although it's a very small display, compared to the fake one, it's going to be really, really hard to make out what are the numbers on that particular screen. The second uh, difference, the obvious difference that I can see is the labels on the outer edge of the bezel. The word adjust, light, mode and start on the fake one sits a lot closer to the glass compared to the original one which is a bit more balanced it's centered between the outer part of the bezel and the inner part of the bezel so this is another difference that you can probably catch up third obvious difference is the secondary dial on the watch face which shows the day of the week on the fake one that the dial itself is not completely circular there's a small cutout towards the left Compared to the original one, it's almost circular and in fact, it's cut so precisely that it's, um, you know, it looks really cool on the original one, right? So this is another difference that you can probably catch out just by looking at the pictures online to know whether this is an original or a fake watch. By far the biggest difference that you can see on the fake and the original one is the look of the back case on a fake one it's bulging out it is nowhere near to what we see on the original watch that is probably why many sellers of this fake watch do not post the back case image of this particular watch this can be one of the things that you can try and ask the seller if if you have doubts whether the watch is original or not there's a huge bulge compared to the original one which is pretty flat the buckle on the original watch is casio thailand and for the fake one it's casio japan the look and feel also differs slightly on the original one it's matte silver on the fake one it's pretty shiny just looks like a normal buckle and you can also see the quality of it at the edges it's not very good at all as for the lights itself on the original one you'll be able to see it's white and also the LCD lights up for the fake one the light is orange in color not bright at all and the display does not light up as well Some other things that are pretty obvious is the movement. It doesn't really work at all. So if I press the adjust button, 
it would beep and on the original one the hands would move away to 735 position but on the fake one it just stays wherever it is and you, you can't even see the display actually over here the display on the fake one it's blinking on the world time so it actually is showing the uh, world time cities on the side profile you are able to see in terms of the buttons and the screws they are pretty much similar but the biggest difference is the bulge that you can see at the bottom where the back is uh, sticks out at least about four to five millimeters compared to the original one which is pretty flat and also the top bezel you'll be able to see is slightly taller compared to the original one loom on the fake watch works pretty well much better than i expected it holds up charge pretty well uh, compared with the original one as well so this uh, is something that we probably can't use to differentiate between the fake and the original one i will leave the timeline details of each of the section into the description so that you guys can go back and have a look at specific part of the video and identify if you have or if you're going to purchase a g-shock ga2100 you know what you're getting into please don't forget to subscribe to this channel lots more videos and giveaways are coming soon as always thank you so much for watching stay safe i'll catch you guys in another video see ya